Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into an incredible story of heroism from the battlefields of World War II. A tale of courage, sacrifice and the indomitable spirit of a man who stood against the tide of tyranny. This is the story of John Robert Fox. Born in 1915, John Robert Fox's life was about to be irrevocably altered by the outbreak of global conflict. Join us as we journey back in time to the European theatre of World War II, where amidst the chaos and carnage, one man's actions would echo through history. John Robert Fox, a young man from Ohio, found himself thrust into the heart of a global conflict. He wasn't alone, countless others joined him, ordinary individuals transformed into soldiers fighting for a cause greater than themselves. Fox, however, possessed a rare breed of courage, a deep-seated sense of duty that would see him rise to extraordinary heights of valour. Fox's journey began long before the battlefields of Europe. Born and raised in the United States, he answered his nation's call enlisting in the army and embarking on a path that would test his limits. He trained rigorously, mastering the skills of warfare, his determination fueled by an unwavering belief in the fight for freedom. As a member of the segregated 92nd Infantry Division, Fox faced not only the perils of war, but also the insidious sting of discrimination. Despite the prejudice he encountered, his spirit never wavered. He knew his duty, and he would see it done, no matter the personal cost. His path led him to Italy, a country scarred by conflict, where the Allied forces were locked in a bitter struggle against the Axis powers. The Italian campaign was a gruelling test of endurance and resolve, with each victory hard won against a tenacious enemy. Within this crucible of war, Fox's character was tempered. He became known for his unwavering bravery, his tactical acumen, and his deep compassion for his fellow soldiers. He led with a quiet strength, inspiring those around him to dig deep and find the courage to carry on. Little did they know he was about to perform an act of selflessness that would forever etch his name in the annals of military history. The year was 1944, and the small Italian village of Somma Colonia became the focal point of Fox's defining moment. The German army, desperate to halt the Allied advance, had launched a fierce counter-offensive, pushing back against the Allied lines with relentless determination. Fox and his unit found themselves in a perilous position, tasked with defending a strategically vital position against overwhelming odds. The situation was dire. Outnumbered and outgunned, Fox's unit faced wave after wave of German assaults. The air crackled with the sound of gunfire and the ground trembled beneath the weight of artillery bombardments. Yet, despite the relentless onslaught, Fox and his men held their ground, their courage unwavering in the face of overwhelming adversity. As the enemy closed in, Fox's commanding officer made the difficult decision to withdraw, ordering his men to fall back to a safer position. However, Fox recognized the strategic importance of their current location. If the Germans were allowed to take it unopposed, they would gain a significant advantage, potentially threatening the entire Allied line. With unwavering resolve, Fox volunteered to stay behind, sacrificing his own safety for the greater good. Armed with only his rifle and a radio, he took up a position in a strategically advantageous building, determined to hold off the enemy advance for as long as humanly possible. His radio crackled to life, his voice calm and steady as he relayed vital information about the enemy's movements back to his retreating comrades. With each transmission, he bought them precious time, allowing them to regroup and prepare for the inevitable counterattack. As the Germans swarmed the village, Fox's position became increasingly precarious. He fought with the ferocity of a cornered animal his rifle spitting fire and defiance. Yet he was one man against many and the enemy continued to advance, their numbers seemingly endless. John Robert Fox found himself alone in the shattered remnants of a small Italian farmhouse, the sounds of battle raging around him. He knew his time was running short, but his resolve never wavered. He had made a promise to hold this position and he would see it through to the very end. The air was thick with the acrid smell of gunpowder and the ever-present dust churned up by exploding shells. Fox, his uniform torn and his face streaked with grime, continued to rain fire upon the advancing enemy, his movements becoming increasingly mechanical as fatigue set in. He could hear the Germans shouting to each other, their voices a guttural chorus just beyond the shattered windows of his makeshift fortress. They were close now their shadows flickering in the faint light that penetrated the smoke-filled air. 
With a determined grunt, Fox slammed a fresh magazine into his rifle, the metallic click echoing in the sudden silence that followed a nearby explosion. He took a deep breath, steadying his nerves, his finger resting lightly on the trigger. Through the haze of battle, Fox noticed a group of German soldiers moving into a flanking position, their intent clear. They were attempting to outmaneuver him to surround his position and cut off any chance of escape. He knew then that he had a choice to make. He could hold his fire, hoping to remain undetected for a little while longer. Or he could risk it all, exposing himself to enemy fire in a desperate attempt to disrupt their advance and buy his comrades even more precious time. In that moment of truth, John Robert Fox didn't hesitate. He knew the weight of his duty, the lives that hung in the balance. With a heavy heart, he reached for his radio, his voice a beacon of calm amidst the chaos. Fire mission, Fox's voice crackled over the radio, each word heavy with the knowledge of his impending fate. Bring it down, on my position. On the other end of the line, his commanding officer, Captain John Runyon, was stunned. He pleaded with Fox to reconsider to find another way, but the young soldier's mind was made up. Fox knew the risks, the certainty of his own demise, but he also understood the strategic importance of his request. By calling down artillery fire on his own position, he could eliminate the advancing German troops, disrupting their attack and giving his comrades the time they needed to regroup and counterattack. His final words echoed through the chaos, a testament to his unwavering courage and selflessness. I'm with them now, let loose, give it to them. Then silence. The radio operator frantically called out Fox's name, but there was no response, only the static hiss of the open line. Moments later, the earth shook with the deafening roar of American artillery. Shells rained down on Fox's position, engulfing the area in a storm of fire and steel. The German advance was shattered, their ranks decimated by the unexpected bombardment. When the smoke cleared and the echoes of battle faded, a somber silence fell over the battlefield. Fox's sacrifice had bought his comrades precious time, allowing them to regroup and eventually repel the German offensive. His actions had saved countless lives, but at the ultimate cost. News of Fox's bravery spread quickly through the ranks. His name whispered with reverence and awe. He had become a symbol of extraordinary courage, a testament to the indomitable spirit that burned within the hearts of so many ordinary men who fought in that extraordinary conflict. John Robert Fox's story, however, did not end on that fateful day in Soma Colonia. His legacy lived on not only in the hearts of those who knew him, but also in the annals of military history. He was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross, the nation's second highest military honor for his extraordinary heroism and self-sacrifice. It wasn't until decades later in 1997 that Fox's extraordinary bravery was fully recognized. After a thorough review of his actions, President Bill Clinton posthumously awarded him the Medal of Honor, the highest military decoration bestowed by the United States. The medal stands as a testament to Fox's unwavering courage, his willingness to lay down his life for his comrades and his country. Today, John Robert Fox's story serves as an inspiration to us all, a reminder of the extraordinary acts of courage and selflessness that often emerge from the darkest chapters of human history. His name is etched in stone at memorials across the United States. His story passed down through generations, ensuring that his sacrifice will never be forgotten. Schools, streets, and even a military installation bear his name, serving as constant reminders of the young man from Ohio who rose to extraordinary heights of valor on a distant battlefield. His story transcends the boundaries of time, reminding us that even in the face of overwhelming adversity, the human spirit can triumph. John Robert Fox's legacy is not just about remembering a single act of heroism, it's about honoring the sacrifices made by countless individuals during times of conflict. It's about recognizing the courage that resides within us all, the potential for greatness that lies dormant, waiting for the moment to be awakened. As we reflect on Fox's story, let us remember the words of the inscription on his Medal of Honor. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. These words, forever etched in metal, serve as a powerful reminder of the enduring legacy of John Robert Fox, a true American hero. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story of bravery and heroism, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more amazing historical tales. The story of John Robert Fox stands as a beacon reminding us of the courage that resides within the human spirit. His sacrifice, his unwavering dedication to duty continues to inspire generations, ensuring that his name will forever be etched in the annals of history. Until next time, remember to honor the past. Cherish the present and never forget the sacrifices made by those who came before us.